aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up guys and welcome to a new series on my channel. This series is going to be called Who Was Really Better and going to focus on of course two similar Pokemon depending on typing or what they're really introdu introducing and showcasing and how that changed throughout the generation and who really are better between the two as the generations moved on and I really thought that Borg, Gorg, guys and Trevenant is a good starting point to get my thoughts across and you know just in general what I think about these two mounts of Pokemon as of course generation passed by of course they are only from generation 6 but a lot of happened in generation 6 but of course with Auras and what the possibility of these mon were being able to do once Auras come out and of course how relevant they were before the Pokebag come out so we're gonna go over that a little bit and um, of course just mention how interesting of course Gore guys and Trevenant really are they are the first Pokemon introduced as a grass ghost typing which means for the meta at least that we now have Pokemon that not only are immune to fighting hits but also of course share resistance to Earthquake a very very relevant defensive typing combo if anything sadly though it was kinda short lived once knockoff got kinda common before of course X and Y the Pokemon was going to open up there weren't really that many Pokemons that could check these Pokemon efficiently, so they were actually extremely relevant. But not only that, not only every Mon had knockoff or access to knockoff at that point, which meant that one of these guys was slightly better than the other due to that accessibility. But uh, yeah, knockoff, of course, getting a boost meant that these weren't as effective as a ghost typing, of course, because ghosts didn't get in general enough due to it. Though getting some strengths, of course, would of course lack of not being resisted by steel. But still, this defensive typing, while a very, very relevant one, also had its backlashes. But I do believe both of these are doing just fine. But like I said, first of all, we're going to compare the two. And of course, as the generations actually passed by. I should mention that we're going to compare super-sized Golgeist on this comparison, mainly because that is not only the best form, it's the most relevant form, and of course the smaller form, while having some niches with the speed and whatnot, I don't enforce them to be, of course, as viable, sadly. Uh, but if you have different experience with that, then, you know, fair enough. I won't really debate that, I'll probably just agree with you. But as it comes to super size, Go Guys versus Trevenant, as you guys can see, they share the same amount of base total HP, which is very high of 85. Trevenant slightly stronger than 110. And uh, then we got, of course, the defenses, which Gorgias just knocks it out of the park. Special attack, not relevant, even though it will say that Gorgias has a lot of good special attacks, like Fire Blast and, and actually Gitterrain, which is kind of cool. It has a very, very niche um, <laughs> accessibility. I do, do even believe it gets shot to people and stuff like that. So, just having that said, special attack, not relevant. Kind of cool that it has at least a moveset to do something with it. Uh, special Defense, um, Trevenant is slightly stronger, and then of course Trevenant is slightly faster. And with that said, um, like I said, Core Guys can be faster if that's required. And yeah, just looking at it as it is, Trevenant is clearly the more defensive of the two. Even though it lacks Special Defense, it's not by a whole lot. And it just, that massive defense set on Core Guys is just such a big deal depending on, of course, the speeds here that the both are representing. Having that said, what changed these two in X and Y was that Trevenant had Harvest. It was such a game changer uh, because that meant that it could actually utilize its HP because Core Guys at this point did not have synthesis. It did not exist in, uh, a, of course, X and Y, which means it was forced to rely on Lead Seed and um, basically left over to recovery. Which is really not that good. I mean, we do, it becomes too passive, and it actually had access to Pain Split, I do believe, but due to its high HP stats, it just barely, barely made a cut to call it even recovery, due to, of course, it being naturally high. Having that said, between abilities, of course, Trevenant is the better, the both have access to Frisk, while, of course, Trevenant has Harvest and Natural Cure. Uh, Insomnia and Pickup doesn't really do a whole lot for Gore Guys. Like I said, though, what makes Gorgais better is the stats alone on, of course, the mod itself. 
But once, of course, the Pokemon opened up, um, it was very clear which Pokemon had been used the most, and that was definitely Trevenant. Um, at this point, I do believe Gorgeist was pushed to UU and was just free falling at this point. It was definitely not as good as Trevenant. So, yeah, Trevenant got, of course, to be the better of the two at that point, and I do believe it was in OU for actually quite some time, even when the Pokemon opened up and kind of rendered, of course, Trevenant useless due to everything having knockoff, among other issues. But Trevenant is just. It is forced to be in an offensive role, it doesn't do the passive role as good, and it being an offensive mode with like the Earthquake and stuff like that, and even Woodhammer and Horn Leech, made it not as potent as, let's say, Shaming, who has, while not as potent in attack stat, still did better, and of course, Breloom, it just keeps straying on, or a lot of better offensive Grass type, and as a Ghost type offensively, eh, you want that to be special, sadly, due to, well, the physical move pool on the ghost type is just not that good. Phantom Force, while a new move introduced in this generation, not really that reliable. So at this point, like I said, core guys were free falling. Trevenant was falling, but not as fast. I do believe once before Auras came out that core guys was clearly in a new Pokemon, and Trevenant was still in UU at this point. But then, of course, Auras came out. And reason that's been a big deal is that they actually have a Mewtwo, of course, in Auras. Duh, most of you guys probably already know that. But it made all the difference for a few of these mods. Trevenant clearly had some interesting mods to get to learn. Uh, one of them definitely were to get access to the likes of Drain Punch, which was clearly a good move for it. It was probably this time people were using this with Assault Vest and, of course, um, Drain Punch Horn Leech with Natural Cure. Pretty successful, um, I would say, set. Not as good, but it's still there, like one of the more interesting movies. They actually opened up the door for a few things, but it still just wasn't that edge that you really are looking for. For the likes of, of course, Gorgeist. Gorgeist got the door wide open for it. It actually got the access to the likes of, of course, Syntasis. That is the big deal. Getting access to reliable recovery made all the difference with this mode. It really, really did all the difference with this Pokemon. And then again, I still the likes of Foul Play. Foul Play also one of those things that just knocks it out of the park. And you have, of course, Skill Swap with also one thing that clearly are interesting and good for it. And just the variety where Gorgas now could do due to the access, have access to recovery made all the difference. Yes, it's weaker than Trivenant, but now it's not only bulkier, it can save itself, it can stay in against matchup, it couldn't do before. So Gorgas got even so much relevance that it actually has a niche in OU. While I highly not recommend it clearly, it still is very true that while Trevenant now in NU I just have keep falling, with really no new set, has clearly been outmatched by Gorgas, who's now not only is regarded as the better of the two, but probably Due to Synthesis, from the beginning, was the better one. Sure, it's a bit weaker, but really, with Shadow Sneak and a pretty neat move of the Foul Play, those 100 base really doesn't mean a whole lot when you can't survive any hit. Gorgeist is simply the better of these two, but it took some time. Trevenant clearly got the early lead, being the more relevant than, of course, X and Y, and it did take close to a year for Gore guys that really got the chance to show what it was all about and it's one hell of a pumpkin. So I really hope you guys of course enjoyed this particular episode and if you want to see more of this make sure to leave a like and suggest Pokemon you want me to compare and talk about and of course I will talk about them throughout the generation and which one is really better. This of course episode's winner are clearly Gore guys. And my god, is it a wonderful mon. 